Hi guys, Timon here. I'm at the cubicle for the next two weeks. We got the GAN 13. Let's unbox it and try it out. I'm really excited for this release. So let's just get into it. All right. I guess I should take a look at the adjustment tools. Um. All right, it's in the box, right? No. So I saw someone trying to adjust these magnets, kind of struggling, and it does seem pretty hard to adjust. Okay, no, it works. It's fine. Okay, wow. I don't know how much they changed in the mechanism, but the corner cutting does seem a lot better, which I did not expect, as the corner cutting is already great on the 12. Do you know how to adjust this? Nope. Okay, let's see. Oh, it has arrows, so it's pretty easy. Okay, it is pretty hard to adjust. Okay, so overall, the speed of the cube seems similar to the 12, but the corner cutting does seem to have improved. The tensioning system is still very similar. Only difference is there are numbers on the magnetic tension now. The corner magnets are also slightly easier to adjust. Hopefully, the corner magnets won't switch on their own now. There's nothing for the pieces to latch onto. So yeah, I think this will be my new main at Princeton already, which is in a week. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see. You wanna try it? Sure, yeah. It's very interesting. Does it feel like the 12? No. So one question I had was, is this going to feel like a 12 that's improved or is it going to feel like its own cube? And uh, this feels closer to its own cube than a 12 that's just been edited. I could get used to these settings actually. Do you like these settings? I'm not sure. I need to try it with some lube first. Because currently on the stiff tension, it's also kind of slow. I actually quite like this. This is a great cube. Here, do you want to give it a shot? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's exciting. Interesting. I think this feels more stable than the 12. I would adjust the tensions yeah. before saying that. Because it, it felt a lot different on the default tensions. For sure. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. These are, I think, like one of the tightest, right? Pretty tight. It is the max. I'm very curious about the repelling edge magnets. So this is the 13 and this is the 12. Honestly, like the pieces look the same except for the added magnet here. Let's take a look at a corner. Something of note is they did change the core structure quite a bit. So that might contribute to most of the improvement in the cube. Yeah, I definitely like this. I like that the magnet is like covered. People complained a lot about the catching issues with the, the yep. core magnets. Can so. I see it? Yeah, that does seem better. Yeah, and this magnet adjustment system here definitely looks better. Yeah, overall though, it's like almost the same, just a few minor tweaks. Yeah, that's tight. <laughs> this is surprising. It's on like a really tight tension, but it still feels really fast. And like, it still feels like it corner cuts pretty well. I'm trying to feel those edge magnets in there. It's actually kind of interesting. It, it feels less snappy than the 12 in terms of the magnet strength. Yeah. I really like it. I think it does feel a lot like the 12 though. Like in terms of actual turning feel, like it's pretty similar. All right, so this is it. This yep. is the boy. Have we done any setup to it or anything? I've, I've changed the tensions to really tight ones, but it's not been lube. Cause it feels soft. It feels like my lube GAN 12. Yeah, exactly which is really good. I don't know, I feel like I'm critiquing a piece of artwork in front of like a master painter or something. It's like, what does my opinion really matter? But yeah, I, I mean, for my turning, I think it's better. I think the you can definitely feel the softer intern. Are they softer? I like, mean, it, is yeah, it supposed they, they to be softer? Better. They changed the core a lot, so. Yeah, the core's different. I know some of the, 
The cord is thinner, so I think that would make it softer, right? I don't know. I would just think it'd be the piece to piece. Cause this is a uh, primary internals as well. But yeah, this feels like again, 12 that's had a couple thousand solves on it. Makes you wonder how it'll feel after a couple thousand solves. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's similar to the 12 in terms of how you adjust it. Yeah. There's just one tool instead of two. Now I'm really excited to get mine. The price is still kind of the limiting factor, I would imagine for a lot of people, but if you can afford it, yeah, it's easily one of the two top best three by threes out there. Yeah, I don't know, this is just, it feels really good. I don't know, that's all I got. It's very tight, by the way, we, we adjusted it to the tightest setting. But why would you do such a thing? I don't like hands. This feels really solid, though. It kinda feels like a 12. Can I open it? Yeah. Yeah. 90 degree angle. Like, so like... No, no, like, like, which side were you trying to open it on? Here? Yeah. So you go like this. You change the angle. This doesn't work. So you go like this. Oh, I see. I see. That's interesting. And it's actually like, okay, it's a cube. Sorry, I'm just a GAN hater. <laughs> You're a gator. I'm a gator. <laughs> it feels a lot more solid than everything else that GAN's released thus far. I like it. Wait, mine? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like this a lot. Um, it does feel like the 12, but for some reason it feels like more compact. I guess that's with all the additional stuff inside. Um, I did change the tensions to like the tightest possible, so that might be one. The tightest? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. That's how I like them too, so. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, I wouldn't pay 85 bucks, but. You guys will. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really excited for this release. Uh, the cube is available for pre-order at thecubicle.com for $78 uh, for the matte version and $84 for the UV coated version. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm at the cubicle for the next two weeks and uh, we got the GAN 13 here, so what am I saying? <laughs>